Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 8 of Firefly. Out of gas, as ever, I am joined by Jeremy and Brass. Oh, Hi! Hi! How do you? You fell out of gas today? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, Jez? What's wrong? Just tired. So, quick recap of last episode. Quite a, quite a fun episode. We had the team land on a planet where it turned out that they saw Jane as some kind of like local hero a bit like a kind of a Robin Hood yeah. type who stole from the stole from the local like magistrate and gave all the money gave all the money to the poor yeah. actually turned out that he'd robbed the place he'd robbed the magistrate the ship got hit he threw everything off of the ship before the money including the guy who was done the robbery yeah, with him as well. <laughs> yeah. um, but then ended up having to drop the money so he could escape it ended up with some people called the Mudders from what I remember who uh, spent the money and started seeing him as a local hero. The, the truth came out eventually, but people still kind of believed in him because yeah. a lot of the episode was based around having something to believe in. So there was other little storylines going on as well. About, was like, a, really, book. I was just about to say there was a catchy song, but I've forgotten the catchy song, so I can't remember how it probably wasn't that catchy. A lot of people I've seen in comments as well, people keep mentioning Out of Gas as well being a favourite episode. Yes. Um, I've seen it a lot in the comments. Yeah, people been saying, quite, oh, quite wait till the next... Yeah, wait for the next episode. That's my favourite. So, shall we? Shall we jump in and see? No, pr no pressure about? on the episode, then, right? No pressure on the episode. Let's do it, it better be bloody great. Okay, right here we go. Drunk. Do you reckon they've had a big piss up? Is this like an early, like a? Is it a flashback? Flashback, yeah. Tell you Zoe, we get a mechanic, get her up and running again. Hire a good pilot, maybe a cook. Live like real people. They don't live like real people. Crew. Oh no, has he been... Oh. Oh dear, okay, so not drunk then. <laughs> you know what the problem is, right? That you, They always, you know, they talk about how Serenity is a bit of a junker and stuff. But, you know, because we don't know spaceships, we're like, fuck a spaceship, right? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Shit has gone down. Yeah, clearly. has he been shot? It's not the happiest we've seen, but... Just who do you think you're married to? Aww. Uh, I mean, it, it's not a lot, she's is it? a keeper. Now you tell us a funny story about being a doctor. <laughs> it's on the story about the time you accidentally funny killed story. that person. I know. She's got to have some funny horn stories, I'd uh, wager. Oh, do I ever. Funny and sexy. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> and you never will. <laughs> Look at those candles. <laughs> Fucking massive. <laughs> this has got to be one of the few <laughs> scenes we've actually had so far of them all together. Yeah. Right, we don't get a lot of those. I guess it's important for this, you know, to show that? that real family point. Yeah, I think we've had the happy moment and now it's going to hit the fan. Yeah, I think Take a look at right. Cool, blimey. Oh. Zoe! Fire! Fire! Pulling that stuff out? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get to that bridge. And you're gonna get us back on our feet. So like, pull yourself together, Sergeant. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that tash. <laughs> That's how I'd imagine you dress, Alan. Real maneuverability. <laughs> yeah. And point. you need to grow that tash. Just, uh, oh, so Zoe and Wash aren't together at that point. Back. No. Mm. He's great, isn't he? I don't like him. <laughs> what? Something about him bothers you. <laughs> what? What about him bothers you? I'm not sure. It's the mustache? Something. Well, <laughs> genius. Oh, shit. No one's ever called me that before. Oh, shit. Shiny. Different mechanic. Mm. What's happened to the rest of the crew now? Like, in this bit? Yeah, it's well, yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? I wonder if they've been taken captive. Rather you than me, mate. <laughs> yeah, do, just makes, do yourself. Just makes me think of Pulp Fiction. Oh, you bastard. I think you could do that. No. You can inject yourself no. in the heart with a good old syringe. Right, but we got auxiliary life support. No, we don't. Oh shit. We ain't even on. The explosion must have knocked it so, out. So all the air they've got's the air they've got, I guess. So what are we breathing? Oh, the shit. Shit. The, the other bit. Start to feel the it? other bit's probably him as like the last one sort of conscious. Yeah. Suffocation's not exactly the most dignified way to go. The human body will. Vomit. Please, I don't think that require a clinical description right now. What about the little ship that she has like, that's attached? Yeah, the little pod. Yeah. I'm just... Uh... Probably wouldn't be able to fit all of them on, right? I don't know. It was my birthday. Yeah. How big is it? What was it? Was it just like a... 
I can't remember what it was like. It's like her little residence thing, isn't it? Oh, it's actually yeah. got... Yeah, yeah, okay. You're afraid we're going to run out of air. That we'll die gasping. <laughs> but we won't. That's not going to happen. We'll freeze to death. <laughs> 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 oh, don't you. just go. Leave that drop. <laughs> that, that fucking that, bomb. <laughs> Mic drop. That's the perfect moment to leave. Yeah. <laughs> But even if some passerby did happen to receive, all it would do is muck up their navigation. Could be that's true. Damn right, it's true. They'd be forced to stop and dig out our signal before they could even go anyplace. Well, maybe I should do like that. <laughs> maybe you should. Okay, good. Fine! Hey. Look what you two think you're doing. You're wasting the oxygen. You use up all the air. <laughs> we have Jane as the voice of the reason. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know, exactly, yeah. Doesn't happen often, does it? I mean, it was purely from a, sel a selfish point of view, wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. of the oxygen, oh, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. Which is very Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the thing he's carrying with him? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is he called Fester? Fair play, he kept going. Yeah. <laughs> what? Committed. And, and is there something wrong with your bunk? What? <laughs> Get your prairie harpy off my boat and put us back in the air. Okay, but. Prairie harpy? You mean can't? It's a good name. No can do, cat. Secondary grab boot shot. No, it ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with your grab boot. Oh, God. It's I was going to say, is it Kaylee? And I was like, no, nah, it won't be. Yeah. They wouldn't. What? That's the, that's the shock moment, she right? Didn't. I seen the troubled plane as day when I was down there on my bath before. <laughs> You're right, couples. Not as innocent as we thought. I know, exactly. No, right. I don't know what? how I feel about that. Right no, I don't know. <laughs> right here. She was like a little sister to me. Yeah, that's what I mean. I've been out, yeah. I hate this guy even more now. Yeah. No. <laughs> this. Surfy, right surf dude it. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Would be shit tattoos. Here. Yeah. You got much experience with a vessel like this? I've never even been up in one before. You're fired, mate. Yeah. Wow. What do you need two mechanics? For? <laughs> I don't. I really don't. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. He's carrying one round on this. Yeah. 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 Like a non-broken well, one. And it looked like a new one, didn't yeah. it? Or fixed? Yeah. It's lucky she told him how to, what to do with this thing. Come mm. on, Mal. Oh, By some chance, you get a response. Someone's going to have to be here to answer. Let's get those shuttles back. That's a good captain going down with his ship. Mm. Yeah. Jane will be worth something if you run into trouble, but don't trust him and don't let him take over. After all, he yeah. knows not to trust Jane. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Not, not old, dress sense. Someone on board here fought for the independence. The Alliance has no quarrel with me. I supported unification. Did you? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I don't suppose you're the only whore that did. <laughs> Bloody um, Brexit voters. Better addendum. When the time comes, John won't be needing it. But thanks. Okay. Well. <laughs> Come on. She's not going to get to say what she wants to. No. Not with Jane hanging around. <laughs> How the hell does he injure himself then? Yeah, I don't know. Another explosion or something? Or. Maybe. That guy that was uh, sleeping with Kaylee, he's really he's, sto a, he's a stowaway yeah. and he's been there for... <laughs> he's been hiding in the, in the walls yeah. for the last like few years. Yeah. See how pleasantly I put that as well, sleeping with Kaylee. Okay. Yeah, very nice. When he was very actually nice. just rutting her in the engine room. <laughs> rutting her. <laughs> <laughs> rutting her. <laughs> rutting, oh, should I say. Rutting in the engine room. There it is. Oh. Wait, that could be scavengers or something like that. Yeah. Come to try and. <clears throat> could be Reavers. And I do expect to see that engine part before I open the door. I feel like maybe we can do business. That is going to be an expensive engine part. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Then 
gonna talk to us about mm. reason now. Yeah. <laughs> Just a joke. Which one you pick attract us? The ugly one, sir. Which one's that? Could you be more reasonable to you? How much they paying you? Instantly turn on them. Huh? Yeah. I mean, knock it off. No, forget I said anything. I'm sure you treated very well. You get the perks, got your own room. No. <laughs> you share a bunk. That one. Two in the bunk. <laughs> really? Private room? Gene! <laughs> your own room, full one of the kitchen, whole shot. Gene! No. I ain't asked <laughs> 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 and this is why you know Jane, Jane will turn on you at the drop of a hat. Decide what you think is fair. Already decided. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Everything. We're taking your ship. We'll get it as far as... I'm sorry, but that Billy guy didn't look like he belonged on that crow Chissy? crew. Did you see him? Don't yeah. Call stern. They've got loads of guns. Yeah. Now get the hell off my ship. I'm surprised they left so willingly. Yeah. Like, there's That's... a lot of them with a lot of weapons. Yeah, I suppose the gun pointed at the captain, though. Yeah. There we go. Ah, Back okay. to start. Yee, there we go. Now he's just got the bullet in his gut to worry about. They just come back of their own accord, did they? Didn't want to leave him. We'd have been back first if there's something wrong with Nara's shuttle. She's done something to it, Mel. Mel's funny. I told you that's <laughs> Can't look at Kaylee in the same way. I know. Says the captain used to rest. <laughs> it's a bit like a tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She'll be with you for the rest of your life. I was talking about a different ship. Son? Yeah. Hey. Son. You hear a word I've been saying? Okay, so that was Out of Gas, episode 8 of Firefly. The episode started with Mal wandering around injured and the ship appearing to be empty, us not knowing what was going on. Mm -hmm. But then we jumped back in time, saw them all celebrating Simon's birthday. An explosion took place on the ship, uh, taking out the engine, leaving them kind of stranded. No oxygen. And then we jumped around between three time periods throughout the rest of the episode. One being um, the current day where Mal is wandering alone through the ship. One being the time period where all of the crew are stuck on the ship. No oxygen, nowhere to go. And then going to little segment flashbacks of all the different times where Mal met and how he sort of his first interactions with, with all of the crew. We saw that sort of progress forwards to him having a run, um, everyone leaving the ship other than Mal on the two escape pods to try and find help. Mal staying behind, another ship turning up uh, where he tried to make a deal with them to get an engine part. They tried to screw him over. He ended up uh, getting shot, managing to get the engine part and driving the other crew off of his ship, repairing his ship. And then the crew, luckily, the rest of the crew kind of ignoring him but luckily ignoring him coming back finding him injured on the floor and him waking up in the med bay with every with all of the crew with him mm -hmm. what did you guys think of the episode i can see how a lot of people in the comments for previous previous episodes said this was their favorite um there was a lot of interesting moments, right? Especially those little yeah. flashbacks to where it's the it's the origin say, story, but... right? That's what it is. Exactly. So that exactly. Uh, you can see why people, even yeah. even though I'm a bit about the, the origins, I'm a bit like, Ugh. <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll, we'll get we, into that. We'll I go guess. into those. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. what 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 I liked about it most is it had a it had more of a serious tone to mm -hmm. the episode. It felt like the danger was real, um, yeah. like throughout. Um, which I've never yeah. really felt that in any of the other episodes apart from this one. Well, that is the problem, isn't it? With a that is the problem with any kind of show, well, most shows, where your main character is kind of in danger. It's it's very much like, uh, are they really in danger? But you could you could feel it. In, it it in had that, yeah, it had that feeling throughout the whole episode. I, re I really liked it. Too obviously the episode being called Out of Gas, right? Uh, seems like an obvious seems like an obvious title. Oh, 
the ship runs out of gas but it's obviously it's enough it's put it's pulling a kind of kind of double duty right yeah. the ship's out of gas and they're running out of oxygen mm -hmm. so and there's a lot of those little fun things if you really think back to the titles of previous episodes that you see so i'm um, a fan of that kind of yeah. double use of the uh, double use of the title this episode was for the most yeah like 95 percent what what you would call a bottle episode so it's all in one location, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? You know, yeah, a filler episode, right, is narratively doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas a bottle episode is just cheap to make yeah. because you don't you don't need to go out and you don't have you didn't have to have tons of extra cast members. You don't have to have loads of extra locations. You know, they're just they're just a cheap production. Of course. So this had that kind of bottle episode style, but still pushed the narrative forward. And like it, it didn't. It didn't push the story to anywhere we didn't know, but it filled in on a lot of little interesting moments of our of our crew. So obviously, as we say, we had we, we actually opened and we said this is our first real moment we've seen everyone together, really. But for longer than like twenty seconds, yeah. you know, they were all celebrating Simon's birthday. They were all laughing about a uh, book's story that he'd been telling. They really felt like a kind of a family in this moment. Mm. And it was it was a real contrast to the point that just before that, we'd seen Mal All by that. himself mm. on the deserted ship. Yeah. One thing we obviously didn't mention as well is when the explosion then happens, Zoe gets injured. And we obviously get to see... We get to see a couple of things from two from a couple of people I thought that I thought was worth mentioning. We get to see that... Um, obviously, Wash is super concerned, as you would be, yeah. your wife getting injured. We get to see Mal going into proper like sergeant mode with Wash when Wash won't leave Zoe's bedside. Yeah. You know, he grabs him and like he's you know, I'm not asking you to go and fight yeah. the ship. I'm telling you to go. And we even get to see a little bit of concern from Jane. Like, not Simon wants to go and get his medical tools and he's saying you can't go and get them, we're all gonna die. But when they're actually in the med bay, Jane actually it's the first time we've really seen Jane looking quite concerned for someone else yeah no, was, there was another it wasn't bit, a long thing there's another bit with jane which i thought was quite interesting for his character it was at the end when they were all about to leave on the on the on the short range ships and he had actually yeah. gone out of his way and prepared some stuff for mal just to yeah. um help yeah. mal out later on mm. which you know a lot of the episodes before this have always been jane's out for himself where well, we said last episode, didn't we? Are we maybe going to yeah, see a Jane think, who's a little bit more... And I think that, yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely integrating more of that kind of part of the family feel rather than... He's still... He's still yeah, he's yeah. still a bit of the outsider, oh, right? Yeah, and like, I think he'll always be as part of his character, isn't it? Yeah. But Less I, it selfish. Was, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, that, yeah, he's, he's always going to... You know, if, you, if you're a selfish person, you're always going to... Yeah. Probably always going to have to that. Realize that He's starting to realise maybe like human lives aren't quite so disposable. Yeah. After last episode when that mother got shot uh trying to trying to save him. There was a lot of little funny switches or rug pulls from these flashbacks. The first one being really well, we had Zoe coming onto the ship with Mal, but that was pretty standard, right? He introduced her to the ship. She thought it was a piece of junk. That didn't really go off topic for what you would expect from their characters yeah. but the, the first one that really did was where we got to see wash yeah one he had a terrible mustache <laughs> and two we found out that zoe hated him and didn't trust him that's your cosplay outfit from now on by the way <laughs> think, oh, 100%. yeah, I read, yeah. <laughs> you I can, can pull it get off the, get the wash tash the shirt i think i could do that yeah yeah it, it was quite fun getting to just see that because we saw wash investigating the ship and going talking about this and talking about that but it was only just after that happened because we still were in the mindset of that being his wife husband and wife but then all of a sudden we find out she doesn't trust him doesn't like him yeah, yeah. so it's a fun little fun little moment there yeah then we find out the mechanic's not kaylee at that moment in time uh, yeah oh yes of course yeah, yeah. Fact, some yeah, sort of we, guy we, that just pulled out a point break <laughs> He does look like he's straight out of point and break. Yeah. yeah, we get to meet our we get to meet our uh, other mechanic. Who I think I might be wrong. I wrote down that his name was Fester, and I mean that was our other kind of shock flashback moment, which probably I think must shock everyone the most. Right, um, was that we got this other moment? One, it was kind of shocking because we haven't seen. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was not gratuitous, gratuitous mm. but um, we could we saw someone having sex on the show yeah. haven't seen it before we could see old fester with someone in the engine room and then the real shock moment where well basically he was supposed to have been repairing the ship 
he hasn't been getting the ship going. They're a week behind schedule. And then all of a sudden, Mal walks in on him having sex. He walks out. He talks about, oh, this girl, she loves it. The engines get a get a well hot. And then the girl appears, and it's Kaylee. And everyone, I'm sure, not just us, shared that moment of, it's not my little sister. What are you doing? Yeah, my yeah. older brother vibes kicked in at that point, and I, <laughs> then my hatred for um, Fester, whatever his name is, <laughs> went sky yeah. skyrocketed through the roof. <laughs> but we, we've always kind of known that she's not as innocent as she. No, yeah, but, we have. Like, yeah. But but this is the first time we've really seen her just like getting it on with some guy. Yeah, I'm. I, I yeah, I'm a bit fifty fifty on that. Whether it's good or bad not good or bad but you know what i mean like how, how i'm taking it because before yeah, it happened that... i was like i was gonna make a joke and went imagine if that was uh kaylee but ha, 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 i wish ha, ha. said it yeah i, I do as well. i do it. now because i thought like but but yeah uh, we should crazy. have realized in a way because each of these little segments was introducing one of the main cast right yeah. and we should have realized yeah, yeah, yeah. it was going to be Kay but i think it's just it was just such a moment you weren't expecting but we know she's we know she's not just some innocent little thing but she but she's quite naive i think in her I, I think it's more what mal projects onto us i get or projects onto her i think so and we're and, and we're viewing her do. through mal if you know what I yeah mean. yeah the in older brother and the younger sister yeah, type yeah, relationship yeah, yeah. yeah no 100 yeah. percent. and the whole crew of the whole crew are very protective of her right yeah. like and it, you know we even got to that interesting thing with her there that she's like She's just like she's just so in tune with the ship. Yeah. She just knows. She just knew instantly how to fix the ship. It wasn't because she'd studied it. It wasn't because of her background in it. It was just because she just she just knew. And that, and, was, and, that's, uh, and that's another important thing about the ship because it's it's the, sh the ship's origin story as well. Even though Zoe isn't sure at the start, you know it's not even running. Yeah, you Mal is a hundred percent sure from the off that this is the ship. Like, he can see it already. He can see that this is... Because it's not... For him, it's not just the ship, is it? It is a... It's a way to still have that freedom mm -hmm. that they, they're they not having anymore. So he's like, we can go. We can go where we want. We can do the jobs that we want to do. And it kind of... Even though they've lost that war, it still lets him have that bit of being the man, the freedom that they want to have. Yeah. So, and you know, well, the ship kind of enables that. Well, the ship is... Yeah, like... You know, with all the comments you've made so far and the episode in general, the ship is actually probably the main focus point. Is the yeah. is the focus point of this whole episode, isn't it? Oh, exactly. Yeah, you know, the ship getting the ship getting the ship becoming broken, and you know, looking at how you know we've got the the crew being injured. It's you know, it's you know, it is part. Because you weren't of introduced. The group, yeah, you weren't introducing characters to other characters. It was introducing the characters to the ship. Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was actually. Yeah, and, was, all, yeah, and all also, would have Mal had a. Did he have the choice to leave the ship? In, I know he could have gone. I know they said four per whatever, but yeah. like he could have gone, right? He could have but, gone. Yeah. But is yeah. it a case yeah. of you know that he didn't want to leave the ship as well? Yeah. If you know, yeah. What I mean. yeah, like the want, ship as, yeah, as, the as a as a yeah yeah he didn't want to leave as an entity that ship. As, as like another character. He didn't yeah. want to leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, it exactly. were. Like, yeah. 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 No, I think so. Uh, the next character we of course we got introduced to was Anara. Anara coming on, um, laying down the law a little bit with Mal. Uh, obviously using some of her feminine charms mm -hmm. uh, and pretty much telling him how it was going to be. I'm going to, I'm get, I'm paying you 25% less than you wanted. Yeah. You're not coming on here. The pod's good. You know, this little vessel will be mine. You won't come in. I won't be servicing you or any of the crew. Uh, you won't be calling me a whore again. The interesting question there actually that, that Mal raised, which we didn't get an answer for is him asking her, why are you choosing this ship? Like, you know, yeah. ladies of your type are normally on these, like, luxury ships. Like, why do you want to be on this Firefly? And we didn't get an answer to that question. Yeah, but it was, it was an interesting thing for him to broach with her. The last one, Jade. the last member of the gang to be introduced, which we always, I think, probably always knew was going to be a, a bit of a silly moment, uh, was Jane's, uh, was, was the introduction of Jane and how he was running with another gang that as soon as he got a better offer from Mal shot one of them in the knee yeah. and then pulled a gun on the other one like and if anything he seemed a bit thicker like <laughs> at that point at that moment but it that was probably like the funniest bit of the episode yeah, i would that say was like that's yeah. where a lot of the humor happened well maybe being with this lot has made him more intelligent i don't know but <laughs> i mean he's no genius isn't i know right? no, but, no. but i but i don't again that was the other one that i felt a bit like what 
Like, fair enough, like, it would work on him, making him a better offerer. But then actually sticking with it and allowing someone so untrustworthy into the crew. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But And he's, um, he's, more, he's more involved with the crew and the ship on, on Serenity, isn't he? He's not... Yeah. I got the feeling from the other group he was with before, he was pretty much just like the just lackey, lackey of the main yeah. guy. That's yeah, what he was. He definitely. wasn't involved in any discussions or... He was obviously a tracker, wasn't he? He was good at tracking, yeah. we instantly got. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I mean, he had to bunk up with the other guy. Yeah. There was that one dude that he was clearly sharing a bed with and he got 7% and he thought 7% was a good deal. Yeah. But uh, And obviously that gives us part of the reason why we've always, Mal has always been very aware that Jane will turn on you on the drop of a, like, yeah. the drop of a hat. Like, and, you know, I mean, we saw it there, right? So as soon as... He even warned Anara when yes, they got did, in yeah. the pods. He was like, be wary of Jane. Um, you're paid up until the end of the month, blah, blah. You're still in charge. Be, yeah. don't get in, you're in charge. Yeah, then that was all of our flashbacks, really. As we say, we saw Mal got shot, right? It all kind of wrapped up relatively quickly after these. The other ship, the other crew came on board, shot Mal. Uh, tried to take the ship. I was surprised that the other crew left so willingly when Mal pulled a gun on them. But as you said, Jess, they did, he did have a gun on the captain. But there were about seven. There was like six or seven of them. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose that's uh, like this... the, the captain assessment, isn't it? Of, you know, even if yeah. they pull just... guns out on him, he's going to get shot, isn't he? So I suppose it's... Might have just been yeah. a mutual respect so, to some yeah. degree type of thing. You yeah. know, it's like fair play. We, try, yeah. we, we, well, we were a bit more scoundrel... <laughs> yeah, like the new guys but you know we're kind of yeah. the same as well to some degree yeah. maybe i don't know well, well he said well he said didn't he to Mal, he said you'd have done the same and right. Mal said no, no, yeah. what's happening right now shows that i wouldn't because he instantly shut but i know what you mean like yeah, you yeah. know plus this is one of those limitations right of unfortunately when you kind of break it down to a tv show it's that limitation of the 45 minute long format of right course. like you've got a lot to get in in not a lot of time and i think if i did have to i think if i did have to give a negative to the flight to and it, again this doesn't just limit firefly i'm sure you can see it in a lot of these shows from the same time period if i did have to give one negative to it it would be those kind of we do quite often get rushed endings because the story they want to tell such a big story there's so many mm. characters to tell it just sometimes means that the ending just it, it just feels like it could bet an episode could benefit from being like five minutes longer yeah you know like mm. like you get now when we have stuff on demand where run times aren't such a thing anymore where an yeah. episode just is the length it needs to be mm -hmm. uh, it's a shame firefly didn't get to benefit from that because i think it would have when river popped her head around the corner oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to talk to book and she's like oh you you're afraid we're gonna die gasping we won't and it's like and that was a fun little moment because it's like ah oh, river no river knows the future right river can predict yeah. these things so oh she knows they're going to be safe and she's like no no we'll freeze to death first and so, off. And <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but bringing that up is good actually because like i did joke i did say at one point about uh river doing something as in like yeah. is she going to do something as in like yeah, you know, yeah, she's, yeah, quite, she's that, got yeah. she's got she's intelligent and she's got like not a, ability or whatever you want to call it yeah which we don't fully know what they are yet but i do feel like like i don't know if they're building her up to be this to do something spectacular because yeah she pretty much doesn't really do anything at the moment no she's kind of there isn't she yeah. she's there she has like a, she has little moments we we obviously know she's got the these like premonitions yeah. like she knew the fire was going to come before it happened she said fire and then like a moment later the engine blew she's that she's a sl she's the slow burn isn't she yeah, yeah. like well her character is if you, if you think going back to a few episodes ago, a few episodes ago where she wouldn't even have been sitting at that table with everyone no that's a good point yeah and no at least she'd have been off in her little yeah, room she's at that she? stage now where she's actually more integrated with the whole group yeah and everyone's yeah. comfortable with everyone which she wouldn't have had that a few episodes ago no, it's a very, very good point. I thought it was a good episode, but I wouldn't say it was my favourite. But um, yeah, could, yeah, okay. like, just to it was definitely up there. Echo what, what Jay, what um, um, yeah, what Jess said about yeah. how um, you could see why people because it's the origins, mm. right? And I think that's yeah, I think it's that's, got lots of that's the thing that people moments. people yeah. resonate with. I think so. Yeah, but yeah, no, I good. really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good episode. Yeah, but, yeah good. I I agree. It wasn't my favourite, but I thought it was a good episode with some some very like some moments that will probably scar our psyche for the rest of time that we watch firefly <laughs> okay all right everybody well thank you for watching we'll be back soon with another firefly reaction if you've enjoyed this please remember to go over to allmaverick.com where you can check out our videos our blogs our podcasts if you're watching this on youtube please remember give us a like if you've enjoyed it subscribe 
leave a comment below. Let us know what your favourite moments in the episode were. Were you as mentally scarred as we all have been by seeing Kaylee make love make to love. Vesta in the <laughs> engine room? <laughs> or whatever that was. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Thank you for thank watching. You. We'll see you next time. See you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.